hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're doing a quick 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 get ready with me video i am going out to my sister's um birthday dinner and i just say why not just film this i haven't filmed the makeup look in a while i've been out of it i just didn't feel like having makeup on my skin for a few weeks so i said okay i'm going out let me just record this uh, okay, so first, as as usual, I am starting with my brows. Um, I'm using very, very light hair-like strokes that I can get it to be as natural as possible. But I don't think it look natural, but this is how I do it. And then I line both my top and bottom of my eyebrows with, with a light concealer. And then I go over the top. I kind of like do a unibrow kind of look just to make sure that there is, they're symmetrical as much as possible and one is not higher than the other. So that's the only reason for me doing that out, doing that. But obviously I'm going to blend it out and then I lined the top of my, um, I went over the top concealer with a, a darker shade. Um, so that it's easier to blend out and it doesn't have that white film at the top. So here I am just blending it out with my buffing brush or my blending brush. And I'm just trying to make that as blended as possible. So when I put on my foundation, it doesn't look, there's not this little white line that looks very weird. So that white thing on my face is Milk of Magnesia. This is not a makeup product, but it's a hack, a makeup hack, which is really good if you have sweaty or oily skin. It really does suppress your oils and sweat. And it was really hot. Like right now, it's getting really hot in Jamaica. And I know for sure I was going to sweat, but I didn't want to be, I didn't want to have to reapply my my foundation or yeah, not foundation, but powder and stuff like that. I wanted to be able to pat the sweat off my face and uh, everything is still set or there. So I did spray my face with some setting spray. Okay, so I'm using my concealer. I'm applying the concealer before foundation because I didn't have a lot of time to blend it out. So that's the reason for this. And I just felt like doing it that way this time around. Um, so that when I lay the foundation on, I didn't really have much work to do after because I was I was kind of rushing as well So I'm just putting the concealer in the areas that I would normally conceal or highlight and then I'm applying my foundation All over my face over the concealer and I'm just going to um, Carefully blend that out even though I was rushing rushing I ensure that my foundation is blended as much as possible because we don't want a mask for sure so I'm just taking my time to blend that out fast but efficient and of course the video is sped up so it looks even faster anyways don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel um, like this video so that others can see it so that we can grow and you know just yeah so right here I'm applying my my face powder so I'm just patting that on just as how I did the foundation and then I went into this palette right here I was going to use that brown shade to kind of um, bronze a little but it wasn't dark enough so I went into the one and only palette that I always use, the Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place, and I kind of bronzed my face with that. So my temples, um, my cheeks, and my jawline, just to kind of add some definition back to the face so that everything looks natural as possible. I also use that on my nose contour, same color, on my nose contour, and I also use it to um, do like a shadow, kind of create... Kind of like creating a natural shadow and that's why i bring the, the nose contour up to my um brow line um kind of like how would you word this i kind of line it with my eyes sort of just so it looks natural just kind of you know mimic my natural shadows or my natural tones and here i'm just applying it all over my lid 
again trying to mim mimic those natural tones that i would have that would have been blanked out by the concealer by the foundation and all of that so yeah um just blend 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 until you get your desired look just blend 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 so i don't know what i was doing there but i always a chat i always a chat to somebody i always say something something somewhere so i'm applying which is this is the second to last step thing that i did which is applied my lashes kind of prep them for my eyelash i did that off camera because we already know eyelash chat um kind of challenging for do so i just applied my lash not my lash my con what this thing called again man um mascara my god apply my mascara to my bottom and top lashes and then i applied some lip gloss this is the juvia's face lip gloss it's very nice it lasts really long and it's just not too thick and sticky so of course i finished with some setting spray the same setting spray that i used in the beginning just to kind of set everything this is me filtered because filter is life um but if the if it looks really good on the filter you know for sure that it looks good in real life so this is me kind of feeling myself because like i said i was rushing so i did not get to film like a, a normal um yes i didn't get to finish uh do, do a normal ending video so i just went to my snapchat and was feeling myself and yeah so i did this and this is the finished look look cute right yeah girl don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video